-hmm. Garrett, we just saw you there having this moment with former Speaker McCarthy. What did he say about what we just saw happen? Well, as he so often does, he tried to put the most optimistic possible spin on this moment now for Jim Jordan, who he is now supporting uh, in the Speaker's race, saying that you know this is basically what happened to him at the start of the 15-vote process that ultimately made him Speaker. He said that Republicans will break now. They'll go back into their groups. And he said the conversations will begin to try to bring some of these members who had issues around. I tried to pin him down on the fact that walking into this vote, he predicted that Jim Jordan might win it on one ballot. And he obviously was some 17, 18 votes away from winning it on one ballot. And I was uh, curious as to what led to the discrepancy between his optimism then and actual reality in which we're operating now. He didn't want to answer that question. But, um, you know, look, McCarthy has been at least publicly supportive of Jim Jordan, and he may have a further opportunity to help him here. I think our final tally ended up with uh, six votes for Kevin McCarthy. He claims he's not a candidate at this point, um, and he could lean on those people who supported him publicly to support Jim Jordan if he so chooses. Uh, we'll see if those calls get made now in the interim until whatever happens next. Hallie, as I look at this and we see Hakeem Jeffries with 212 votes, he's only five away from that magical 217. Is there a world in which that could happen or is that maxed out? That, that's all the Democrats here. Yeah, that's maxed out. I mean, there, there is, a, I guess, in theory on Earth, too, as Garrett is sometimes <laughs> fond of talking about, a scenario in which you could see enough people voting present or being absent that it lowers the threshold. And it's like a whole hypothetical situation that involves a lot of math and seems very, very extremely unlikely at this point. The question is going to be, and to Garrett's point here, even if Kevin McCarthy goes and tells all six people who voted for him, sort of muscles him a little bit to say, right. hey, you, you got to back me up here and vote for Jim Jordan. That still doesn't get Jim nope. Jordan over the line that he needs to get over, right? And so that really is the question, is what is happening now behind the scenes in some of these conversations? Because remember, Congressman Jordan has been holding conversations for days now to try to get some of these holdouts to flip. I'm struck by one of his allies, uh, Chip Roy, saying this morning, just a few hours before this vote, that, hey, maybe there would be roughly 10 holdouts. Obviously, the number is more than 10 here, right? right? This didn't go even is their whip count or vote tally. Uh, had it had it going here so lots of questions marks still here this afternoon guys thanks for watching stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media